Vehicles arrive in Segunto in Spain from Japan and are then shipped down to Gibraltar by car carrier. Once cars arrive in Gibraltar, they are inspected and given an identity number which will be used throughout their stay in Gibraltar to identify the vehicle. The vehicles are then taken to the multi-storey car park for secure parking. When a vehicle is having a colour change, the first job is to remove such items as the lamps, bumpers, bonnets and doors, etc. This allows all the areas such as the door shut to be painted cleanly. To keep the dust and dirt out during the sanding process, the door areas are masked with tape and paper. In order to have a grease and dirt free surface for the paint to adhere to, the complete body is sanded down and blown off with air. This will ensure a good paint finish with no blemishes. Prior to the vehicle entering the paint oven, the final areas including the engine bay are covered to avoid paint overspray. Once this has been finished, the vehicle will have a final clean with a tack rag to remove any loose particles that may have dropped on the vehicle. The vehicle is now in a dust-free environment and ready for paint. The required amount of paint is then mixed to paint the vehicle and panels. This is a mix of colour, hardener and thinners to exact quantities. The main body of the vehicle is painted and all vehicles painted by TGS receive two coats of paint. As with the main body, all the loose panels are sanded down prior to going into the paint booth. Once in the booth, they are cleaned off to remove any last particles of dust. The panels and loose items are painted in exactly the same way as the main body. Pickup bed is cleaned off and painted in the paint booth. Once the vehicle is removed from the paint booth, all the masking is removed, ready for reassembly. With all the masking removed, the panels are refitted and adjusted for gaps, and all ancillary items, including the rear bed, are refitted. With the repaint complete, the vehicle leaves the paint shop to be transferred to the general workshops. As the vehicle is having an aluminium bed liner, a full panel is cut to fit the rear of the vehicle. Templates are made and infill pieces are cut to complete the floor. The panel is riveted to the floor to keep it secure. The panel for the rear tailgate is bent to shape and riveted to the tailgate. 
a bead or sealer is applied to stop water from getting between the liner and the floor. TGS double battery conversion, a smart split charge system is fitted. This allows correct charging of the individual batteries dependent on their requirement. The TGS range of bull bars are designed to allow installation of a winch, extra lamps and mounting points for communication antennas. There is also provision for secure and safe use of a high lift jack. When fitting a winch, it is sometimes required to move the position of the operating lever to gain better access. The lights are installed in the corner of the bumper and will be connected to the original electrical system. The winch is mounted into the bull bar along with the solenoid box and the fair lead which is required to guide the cable in or out. Once these items are fitted, the bull bar is offered up to the chassis of the vehicle. After raising the vehicle on the elevator, spacer plates are inserted to align the unit. Once the unit is aligned, all the securing bolts are tightened. Once the vehicle has been lowered, then the operating cables are run and secured to the second battery if fitted. Mounted to the chassis, this 3mm plate offers protection to the front steering rods and the front of the differential. First, the transceiver is fitted securely to the bodywork in a position that it will not be damaged. All cables are run in protected areas and secured so they cannot chafe or move. The code and HF communication system is used extensively in developing countries by the aid agencies. Cables are run into the engine compartment for the antenna and a power source. and the mountings for the speaker and microphone are secured on the dashboard. With more than 800 installations per year, TGS engineers have a wealth of experience in fitting these systems. The antenna is then connected and the radio operation checked. A tubular replacement rear bumper is mounted to the chassis at the rear of the vehicle. This bar offers secure point for towing and recovery and also provides a safe location in which to use the high lift jack. Dependent on the end destination, many vehicles will have a different tyre type fitted. These can be for mud, snow or general use. On the split rim type, it is easy to change the tyres in the field.
Once the tyre has been deflated and the beads broken, the securing rim can be prized off. This makes it very easy then to remove to change the tyre and tube. Once the new tyre has been fitted, it is important that the securing rim is fitted correctly before inflating the tyres. The tyres can then be reinflated and fitted back on the vehicles. When fitting rear seats into the pickup bed, a support frame has to be fitted first. Then the holes for the seat mounting bolts are drilled and the seats and belts fitted in the rear. A big advantage of this design is that the seats can be folded up leaving plenty of room for cargo if required. In order to give protection to the rear occupants, a high roof canopy is assembled and mounted in the rear bed. The canvas cover gives good protection from wind and rain. To ensure a secure and accessible mounting, two specialist fittings are bolted to the front of the pickup bed alongside the spare wheel. It is locked with a padlock for security. This ensures that in the event of a puncture, the jack is available in good condition. Once our team has completed all the work on the vehicle, all loose items and any non-fitted options are loaded into steel security boxes. This can include recovery equipment, fire extinguisher, toolkit, etc. These boxes, along with any parts packages, are then loaded into the rear of the vehicle. secured so they cannot move in transit, and then secured with a security chain. Final stage before dispatch is that the vehicle will go through a quality control check. At this time, the inspector will check that all the items required are present, and that all items that have been fitted correctly, and they work. All these details are then recorded on the TGS quality control program so that they can be used at a later date if required. Finally, just as they arrived in Gibraltar, the vehicle is loaded onto a car carrier to be moved to the final port of embarkation.
they will normally be shipped to the end destination either by Roro or by container.